Hey there, crafty friends. It's Lynn QV, and I'm playing with paper and glue. Hey, why don't you join me as I complete this kind of fun, old-fashioned uh, advent calendar. I remember having this style of advent calendar when we were kids, um, hmm, way back, and um, you pulled a tab, and there was a picture in, you know, under the window. And so not really gifts, but, but pictures. And I have this gorgeous kind of steampunk Santa paper by Graphic 45. It's called Christmas Time. I think that's right. I'll double check it. <laughs> I should know that. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Christmas time. Anyway, so you can see um, what it's going to look like when it's completed. And... I'll show you a couple other things. So I made a prototype and I did use my uh, Cricut Maker. It has this really cool wheel uh, that's a blade, but it's perforated. So, you know, you pull back and, and it's going to do that open it all the way up. So I did want to kind of test it and I just used you know, paper that I had around um, and kind of made sure things lined up. And I'm not positive I'm going to put this any kind of fabric trim, but I tested it uh, with my new soap machine. So here's the elements. I've got the top sheet and you can see I've put these little tabs on them to help it pull easier. So I numbered them all with some stamps and I'm going to put these two on 24 and 25. And then I've got my pictures that I've kind of predetermined where they're going to go. And you know, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll be good. So this is the, the back side. This is with the tabs glued on to the front page. And then this is the template for the actual pictures. And I am going to use this as the backing. And I might decorate a little bit more. Uh, I did round the corners just so it looked a little more professional. And what we're gonna do together is glue on all of the pictures as well as get those last two tabs in. Uh, when I tested the prototype, I only put the tab on one of them, but it really did help get it started. And these, the perforations are pretty darn good. Okay. So let me sit down. I'm going to make sure I'm not bumping in you like that to the camera and make it all wonky on you. Okay, so 24 is this long one. And what I did with the perforations, I, I did just a straight, I don't know if you can see that, just a straight cut at one end of the perforation to get my little tab in there. So I'm going to stick that one in. That's 24. And number 25 is right here. So it should be in the center. You know, of course, you want to be sure that you're not unper un <laughs> peeling back any of the perf, but I'm not. Okay, so stuck them in. I did give them a little bit of a crease. Sorry for the sniffly nose. Kind of early in the day, and I still have sniffles from sleeping. Let's see if my glue will come out. Nope. That's cool. I'm sure all of you to do this all the time, too. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just, it doesn't need a lot, just to secure it down. And before I do that, I am going to just come back. 
I can look at this side. Make sure I'm up enough for the fold and look so sort of straight. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. All right, and then 24 is this one. Like I said, it doesn't need a whole lot. Anybody else have finger fumble fingers? Boy, I feel like I do all the time. But I'm happy to say I'm learning so many new things since I started doing journals and paper crafts in general in 2019. And I was a little nervous with my health, thinking that some of my cognitive abilities were kind of dissipating. But I feel really good about all the new things I'm learning to do. So, okay, that is done. So I will definitely speed this part up once I get going. Oh, you don't need to watch me glue a bunch of stuff, right? Get my... Love my brayer. Okay, and the laundry's done. I have to take it out so my clothes don't get wrinkly. I'll be right back. Oh, that turned off. Sorry. Plus, it looks like I need to up a tad. Try that. Mm, mostly in frame. <clears throat> anyway, I was going to show you this adorable Santa and his jalopy. When I do use my finger, I wipe it on a little silicone mat. I will be showing you that for sure. In a, an upcoming video. Let's see. Make sure. Yep. We are recording. Huh. I don't know what happened. there. It's not really glued down. Go in. Some more glue. Yeah, that's good. I, I want to strive for excellence, not perfection, because perfection is not obtainable, right? But we can do the best we can do. So let's move them up just a tad. There we go.
Okay. Ooh, so excited. All right, so maybe we could do, let's see. Oh, I know. Let's see. Here's some pretty plaid. We will. And I don't even care if it's um, attached all the way across because I am going to stitch this guy. Stitch the top piece on even after I glue it partially. I'll do that. Which other ones? Let's see. So these round ones, I was... <sighs> what could I do? Since I didn't put something down first, just let it go. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Close enough, right? And this one would be even better, I think. There we go. Come on, scoot down. There we go. Nice. All right, I think they're all glued down. <clears throat> so I, I might take this sheet off my prototype. Well, I guess at this point, if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, right? Okay, that's all right. So we'll be doing a slight glue then we'll take it to the sewing machine i did pull these two ribbons actually a gold one too i think this one the sheer is just too light yeah okay that's all right and this one's cute of course, this one. I don't like this one. Very vintage looking. A little crooked pen, pin in there. Yeah, I don't know. I think because this already has some trim. If I had a really nice little lace, maybe. But I don't really have anything big enough. So I'm going to leave it off. All right, time for us to go walk the doggies. I will come back and finish. I'll do my sewing while I'm gone, and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, well, I'm back from the sewing machine. I ended up just stitching around this one and then stitching these two closed. And because of my metal pieces, it's a <laughs> it's got a little bit of gap. But that's okay. Um, I did cut down a piece of chipboard uh, just for a little bit more stability. And so what I'm going to do is glue this one on the chipboard and then glue this one on the chipboard. And hopefully then we have a fairly strong piece. 
So I'm going to glue these down and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the finished product. I'm very happy with it. It looks a lot like I anticipated. And um, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you come along again and join as I'm playing with paper and glue.